Okay, so we have some exciting news for those who've been following this um, journey that we've been going through. Um, we, we started by looking at the requirements for the Kali Purple Linux lab environment. We looked at all the machines, went through the documentation, and you know realized that it's going to take about, um, what do we got here? Like 2.9 terabytes of storage, 22 virtual CPUs, and about 60 gigs of RAM to get up and started. So, and um, we're like, okay, those are the requirements. Um, the guys on the from the official Cali Purple repository on GitLab, they're like, hey, you know, you can run this on an Intel NUC. And we said, okay, Intel NUC, let's go and see if we can price out, um, you know, this hardware so we can get it. And we started looking, and um, a lot of the stuff was out of budget. This one up here is it's kind of extreme. Um, you know, it's like four times the the storage we need, and um, you know the, the the RAM and processor. It's it, it's good. We got what's this? It's 16 cores, 64 gigs of RAM. But that, that that's a little too much. So we go to the next one. They don't even have these, or it's in three sizes. Okay, we, we're still like on the high side for disk. You know, let's look at um, you know this four terabyte here. All right, this number is still out of our budget for now, right? And, until we can um, get approved from our budget, like we're not going to be able to make this. Um, going down, okay. The numbers are going down a little bit, but you know, oh, okay. What do we got here? We got twelve cores. That's fine. Even though we need twenty two, you can you can um, you know you can you can double up and triple up on CPU cores for virtualization because they're not always using the processor, you know, all the time. So that's fine. And the prices get dramatically lower. So, you know, th th this could potentially be in budget for us. Um, we just have to like order it, wait for it to come and everything. And, um, you know, we're like, well, what, what if we wanted to get started now? And then for folks uh, who, who are also wanting to put together a lab like this, what if they want to get um, started now? And that's when we had the idea, you know, let's get this started in the Google Cloud platform, right? We, we kind of know how to use that. We can get a machine up and running with a lot of resources. Let's do that. So we um, started down that path, ran into a lot of network issues, but folks, I got some great news. Uh, you know, thanks to our brilliant engineer who's been working on this and overcoming a lot of these network issues and the tips that you guys have left um, in the private messages. We now have a fully running, up and running, um, Cali Purple Linux Lab, and um, you know I'm going to show you a couple screenshots here. Let's see, so you can see this one; it's running some things on ports. Uh, let's go to the next one, our firewall. You can see you got the different VLAN networks up and interfaces configured. Very cool. Cali Purple. This is the like heavy hitter. This is the machine that takes up the most resources. I think it's running like. Um, you know, Kibana, Elasticsearch, and stuff like that. The, this is, you know, the machine. It's, you can you can see these ports are running. I think this is like the Elasticsearch one, maybe. Anyway, um, you know, it's 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 running. It's it's serving services. Uh, this is the Kali Eminence. It's doing what it does. Here's a login page for the OpenSense box that we looked at a little earlier. We got Cali Heliotrope, but so you know we we have this lab up and running in the Google Cloud environment. We're working on the documentation and instructions so that you can go ahead and put together this lab in the Google Cloud environment for free on your own. Um, but we're not asking any money for that at all. All you got to do is just click on the link in the description. Um, it'll be done in about like two or three days. We'll send that right over to you instantly as soon as we have it published. So. Um, this, this is what we got so far. We're going to be putting out scenarios. If there are certain scenarios you want to see, like, hey, what does, uh, you know, what, what does an interpreter session look like in this environment, and, and how would we detect it? What does, uh, you know, the, the sunburst attack or the email attacks from, like, uh, Exchange, like, wh when you run those packets through this sock, what, what alerts pop off? What tools can we use to investigate these kind of things? Uh, send those send those requests down there. We'll start running those through the system and start coming up with guides on how to how to you know lab these things out. Um, again, in in the comments, you can uh, click a link. You'll be able to get the instructions to build an environment like this on your own. And because like we're so excited about this, we're going to be giving away uh, you know hours to our instance. Again, it's in Google Cloud, so you have to pay by the hour, but. We're willing to give away free hours. Um, you can get an invite by clicking on the link in the description there. 
And um, if you're like, hey, I don't care about like waiting for an invite. I don't care about, um, you know, putting, you know, spending <laughs> a couple of days or a couple hours putting this all together on my own. I just want access now. We're also going to be offering paid um, paid access to instances. We'll get everything up and running for you in short time. Um, you know, and, and you just click a button and boom, you're off to the races. You can start using the Kali uh, Purple Linux environment right away on our Google Cloud instances, just, you know, for, for, um, for a cost. So if you're interested in any of those offers, go ahead and click on the links below. If you want to see the new things that we put out when we start labbing out the different sort of scenarios that you can use this environment for, um, you know, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. And I uh, just wanted to up you guys, update you guys on what we got going on so far and where we're going. And um, we'll, we'll see you in the next video.